You know, the, the, uh, the most important part of this new broadcast, as I look back on it and as I wrote, is that Don Hewitt was so humiliated by the circumstances around the evening news, and I can't tell you how big that was. I mean, Walter Cronkite, 60 Minutes was nothing. You know, it was difficult, and I, he convinced a lot of very smart people who weren't on the Cronkite show to come to work on 60 Minutes. It was new. There were parts of it that were exciting. He was an exciting figure. But the evening news was it. And Don Hewitt spent the rest of his career and 35 years running 60 Minutes trying to prove and proving to those journalists and the Murrow boys that he understood good journalism, that he had been paying attention, that he knew what they stood for, and particularly Fred Friendly, who he did not like one bit. And Fred did not like him, which is why he fired him. But Don Hewitt, until his last days, always said, I learned more from Fred Friendly than anybody else in my life. And he did. And so many of those things are part of, I think, what makes 60 Minutes special today. Because we've changed, we've evolved significantly over the years, uh, almost every decade. And it's, it's different now, and I'll get into that a little bit. But the fundamentals haven't changed. The things that Don learned from Fred Friendly, the things that Fred Friendly cared about, the things that Dick Salant cared about, these are things we practice to this day. And they're all about different aspects of what we do. And I think they are a huge part of why we are still successful. And I don't want to talk about numbers a lot, though I care about them. But this past Sunday, we were the most watched non-sports show of the week. I mean, I think that says something. That still people, that many people, 14 and a half million that night, were willing to give up an hour and watch 60 Minutes. More than any other program on all of television that week, except one football game. And some of those things, which are simple, are directly from Fred Friendly, such as, we never underestimate the audience. Yet, at the same time, we know that we know more about a story than they do. We never talk down to the viewer. We always assume they know more than most people do, most broadcasts do. We care so much about how we tell a story. We pour ourselves into it. It's intense. And it's, it's always been intense, and it always will be intense. I'll never forget the time I was in a Don Hewitt screening. Steve Croft and I was our second year on the job, probably my fifth or sixth story, and it was all about communist Poland going capitalist. And the, the story was over, the lights came on, and Don looked back at me and he said, where do you want a kid, right between the eyes? And that's how, you know, and it wasn't personal. It was a great learning experience for me, because Don then proceeded to help me and Steve make it a, a much better story worthy of air. And that's how we collaborate. And it's a huge part of what we do. And here's the most important thing. And this is what stands out to me to this day more than anything else. We never, ever do audience research to determine what stories to cover, ever. Now that, especially in this day and age, says a lot. Because we don't know what the viewer is going to want. The onus is on us to make the story so damn compelling that you just have to watch it. 